Oh, you forgot to bring a stand. Yep. Other wires. Oh, here. Charging. Charger. Charger. You don't other wires. Okay. Your boyfriend can wait, lah. Hey! What are you trying to say? Ah.
this week in particular, I'm very appreciative of my team of role players. And we also have a guest from UB Postmaster Club who took out the Time and Team role very properly. So I'm very grateful to all of you. Let me introduce to you all our lineup for this evening. Our role players are. Is. <laughs> I'm messing up my grammar. <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and no more guests. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. One of the most stimulating parts of the Toastmaster meeting is the table topic session. The main objective is to challenge our members to develop their impromptu communication skills and to think on their feet effectively by answering unrehearsed questions. As far as I'm concerned, the table topic session has benefited me greatly in terms of building my confidence. I hope you all will reap the same benefit as I do. More importantly, this session is not restricted to members only. However, we don't have any guests today. <laughs> today, as a table topic master, I will be asking questions pertaining to encouragement. You are advised to talk for at least one minute, but not longer than two minutes. I look forward to hearing from some of you later. Back to you, Toast Master of the Evening. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. As always, it's a pleasure to have you as a role player to listen to how you articulate. I really enjoyed it already. As far as I'm concerned, you have a little thing. <laughs> Alright, we have a table topics master. We will have the counterpart, the table topics evaluator. Adlan, is this your first time taking on this role? Yes. As a yes. Everyone, Adlan is. Hmm, I cannot remember your pathway. I will make note to rectify that in my own spare time. Without further ado, let us all give an encouragement for first timer table topics evaluator, Postmaster Adlan Mursi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Adlan and I'll be the table topics evaluator for tonight. As the table topics evaluator, surprise, surprise, I'll be evaluating the table topics. Anyways, I will be looking at the introduction, body, and the conclusion of the table topics. But most importantly, I will be looking at whether or not the speakers answered the question. Uh, with that, back to you, Toastmaster Abdi. Thank you, Toastmaster Adlan. I think we, I think you may not have any trouble. It, it sounds like you already have the flair for evaluating table topics. My next role player is. Um, it's only been two, three weeks since you've been a member. Two weeks ago, we have our international speech competition. She took on a very challenging role for her first time. Evaluation, evaluator role at the club. I'm not getting very good points for graphic tonight. <laughs> um, I hope um, tonight our first timer Toastmaster Tawana as a grammarian will enjoy grooving to a grammarian role and we'll now invite you to introduce your role. Everyone give a hand of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. Good, good evening. evening. <coughs> Thank you very much. This is my first time as grammarian, as rightly pointed out by May Ann, and I am told that I have to explain a little bit about what this role entails. So I answered it wrongly just now, but then Ling Ling corrected me and said basically the grammarian is to uh, plays an important role in the improvement of uh, the use of language and the grammatical uses um, within our meetings. And um, for my role specifically, I will look at how the English language is used, whether in excellent applications or if there are any wrongs or wrong usage. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I, I think I'm also supposed to introduce the word of the day, which is equilibrate. I think it's a very difficult word. Maybe we can say it together. Equilibrate. <laughs> <laughs> so the root word is equilibrium, as we know, it's like finding the middle or balance. But here we have to achieve a state of balance or to bring something into equilibrium. The synonyms are align, balance, and harmonize. An example is, life is not just about work. We should all aim to equilibrate, working life and playtime. 
So as first time grammarian today, I have had to equilibrate my nerves and my excitement to ensure I don't break down and cry in front of you all. Oh. <laughs> Back to you. Hi, good evening everyone. Good evening. Welcome to my favorite role on the club. <laughs> yeah, sometimes said what? So basically for those I've counted a few people who have crutch words, words such as um and ah, uh, and you have filler words like so in the beginning, you have and to connect your sentence. I'll give you an example like if someone asks what's your favorite juice? And I'll go, mmm, that's a crutch word. And then I go like, oh, my favorite juice is um, orange juice. <laughs> so basically, it's something that we are very familiar. If it becomes a conversational uh, sort of dialogue with friends. So in this setting, we try to reduce it. So when it happens, right, when I give my report, we can equilibrate, you know, so you don't have too many of the filler words next time when you come up on stage. And my second part is basically to test your listening skills. Let's see if most of you can get it by the third part of the session. Back to you, Toastmasters of the evening. Actually, my challenge to remember everyone's halfway is a recent one. What has always been my continuous challenge every week for meeting is not to have crutch or filler words. I made a few just before this, but I'm going to check it with myself from now on for the rest of the day. <laughs> Without further ado, let me introduce our <coughs> guest, Toastmaster from UB Toastmaster Club, to explain oh, yes. his timer and tip role. Wow. <laughs> right, so, hello everyone. I'll be the timer for VSC's meeting today. Thank you. So, <laughs> no problem, man. So, essentially, I'll be uh, keeping time off the meeting today, so it's speeches and the length of the meeting as well, so that we can, we could equilibrate to finishing the meeting on time. Hmm? <laughs> 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 equilibrate to finishing the meeting according to the agenda. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll be using, let's, let's move on. <laughs> I'll be using the traffic light for tonight. And uh, the timing rules for tonight's meeting is that for table topic session, there will be two minutes allocated for every speaker. So it will go green on this. Is that green? Yes. Okay, it will go green on one minute, then yellow on one minute and 30 seconds. And then two minutes on red. Then evaluations, I can see that uh, there are three separate timings for evaluation. So for the three minutes evaluation, uh, it will be on two minutes for green, two minutes, 30 seconds for yellow, three minutes for red. And for the four minutes evaluation, it will be three minutes on green, yellow on three minutes and 30 seconds, and red on four minutes. And for the five minute evaluation, there will be that will be four minutes for green, four minutes and thirty seconds for yellow, and five minutes for red. Oh, it's already red. Okay. And then uh, for table topics, if you exceed uh, two minutes and thirty seconds, a buzzer, not a buzzer, a bell will be rung, and you have to go back to your seat. 
uh, the prepared speeches are all five to seven minute speeches. So uh, the traffic light will go green on five minutes, yellow on six minutes, and red on seven minutes. No ringer will be rung for the prepared speeches, the evaluation. And my tip for today is that whenever you're in pickle when speaking, take it slow, gather your thoughts, take a break, take a breather, then deliver what you're about to speak. Uh, there's no rush to it, guys, so keep your pacing constant. And with that, back to you, Mayan. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. 
A word of encouragement during a failure is worth more than an hour of praise after success. All of us have encountered difficulties and adversities in our lives. But do you still remember what motivated you to rise above the difficulties? Spite. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, without further ado, may I invite Philip to be the first table talk. Yeah. yourself when going through hard times? What do you do to encourage yourself when going through hard times? Let's welcome Philip. I've gone through a lot of hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Life is hard anyway. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You wake up in the morning, you're going to think of what to do. <laughs> now honestly, like, like I've gone through a lot of hard times. I, I believe all of you have gone through hard times too. Now what do you do when you go through hard times? I think the first thought that came to me, that comes to me every time I go through a hard time is, survive the hard time. Survive. Now, after that you can talk about other things. <laughs> if you can overcome it, Better you, but whatever it is, nonetheless, you must first of all survive the hard time, then you can talk. If you finish, if you perish, if you, <laughs> if you give up, then I won't be here standing more anymore. <laughs> I won't be standing here anymore. So the hard time is something that I think we all have to go through sooner or later. If you live long enough, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and, and life is, is all about overcoming hard times, I think. I have never seen anyone who said, I don't have hard times in my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> I would love to meet a person like that, actually. Ling <laughs> <laughs> Ling? <laughs> I think I need to get to know you better. <laughs> but you would agree with me that all of us have hard time, one way or another, more or less. And I think the only time I will have no hard time is when I kick the bucket. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think that's a fact of life. So as long as we live, I think expect hard time. And since we can't avoid it, let's conquer it. Oh, yes. Let us uh, overcome it. Let us... Enjoy it if you can. Yes. Yes. Enjoy the time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I must say I'm really impressed by your words of encouragement. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to survive. <laughs> Next, may I call upon Nazri to be the second table topic speaker? Who is the best person you can go to for encouragement? Who is the best person you can go to for encouragement? Let's welcome Nabi. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Who is the best person that I would go to? Should I need words of encouragement? Or encouragement? Or encouragement? I try to be honest and I would say my friend's word, but in the end I just say Google. <laughs> Google, includes, Google includes YouTube because it's an affiliate of Google as well. Um, that's what I do usually when I need words of encouragement. I would look for other people who have gone through the things that they've gone through. For example, recently I had to go through a I had to go through a test and I didn't know what to do about it. So what I did was the first thing that I did was YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, that's the first thing that I did. I YouTube how to do this, how to do something. So all I did was that and I just 
that's where I got my words of encouragement. So the way that I do it is I, yes, we, we could go to friends, we could go to, we could go to Google or we could go to our family, but to be honest, that's what I do. I, I search up for words of encouragement myself, not necessarily to anyone, but even to Google, to any YouTube, YouTubers that would encourage you, for example, to go through a rut or to handle exam problems when you're in university or to handle whatever problems you have in life, for example, as well as that I would, how do I solve an injury and how do I get through this injury? I would just YouTube it and then I would hear a lot of people saying, this is what I do and don't be sad about it and what you gotta do is just keep doing what you have to do to be better. And that's all for the time. Thank you. I call upon Peng to do that. Uh, to do that. levels of anxiety to the point where it got turned very depressive. I would uh, cry randomly. I would start fighting on my hand to relieve the headaches that you, I get. If you've had anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. But one day, I've gotten to a point where it was so bad, I didn't know who to call. I just randomly picked up the phone and I called my cousin who was staying in the same university as me, just across the block. I usually do not disturb him, but on this particular day, I did. And he came into my room, all trashed up. I was in my head, like wrapping my, my hands around my head, crying, and all he did was he, he ran up. He gripped me, he hugged me, and he told me everything will be okay. He hugged me and told me everything will be fine. I don't know what's happening. I don't need to know what's happening, but I know that it will be better. And this has gradually helped my symptoms come, come down. It helped me uh, reach a state of equilibrium for my emotions. Mm -hmm. So that's my answer to you. Nowadays, it's really hard for us to equilibrate our work and personal life, especially because uh, of the existence of stress. So I believe words can be a very nice tool to help another person who is in need. Now, Simon, do I have one, time for one more speaker? Okay, may I invite Heidi to be the last speaker? <laughs> You know the answer. Let's welcome Heidi. Yeah,
So I have always looked up at her because at the time she was doing her PhD with three babies around her. <laughs> I still remember his young, her younger son now is a big boy, but I remember how he was, you know, clinging around Dr. Sufiana when she was doing her PhD. I was doing my degree then. When I look at her, I said, "Wow, that's inspiring." When I am her age, I want to do that, but I never get to do it. <laughs> doing a PhD is still my dream. Fast forward, I've known her for, I think, more than 20 years now. In between, we didn't quite get in touch. But Toastmaster, I'm reminded to come to Toastmaster because of Dr. Sufiana as well. The first thing I call, I remember that was five years ago when I was panicking, not knowing how to deal with presentation. The first person I thought of, call Dr. Sufiana. Then the first thing I call her, Ka, the club in Sobe Water Seal is big or not? In order to encourage him, the last speaker was Heidi, who sees Sofiana as the most inspirational speaker in her life. You may now cast your vote for the best human topic speaker, and I will walk around to collect the votes. Now, I will now pass the floor back to the Toastmaster of the evening. Please uh, write down the votes on the pieces of 